So from the last blue from the last video, I said I was gonna add some expansion to the uh, I/O bridge here. Um, this Bluetooth I/O bridge that I've been making. Um, so I went ahead and I added X10. Um, what it is, I picked up what's called a uh, power line interface. Um, it's actually the PSC04 power line interface. Um, and what I did is I hooked it up to the microcontroller board through RG11. And uh, we're going to be controlling it through Bluetooth. Um, I have a couple of these uh, power line modules um, hooked up throughout the house. You know, I have a couple in my living room, a couple here on this light right next to us, just to kind of demonstrate how many things can be uh, uh, expanded upon with this uh, Bluetooth I.O. bridge. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's launch the application again. And this module well, from last time is still on bank zero. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay. Add the security code. And this security code can be taken out pretty easy. You don't have to have this for internal you know applications inside your house. Maybe do it for if you know, he had it hooked up to like a garage door opener or something like that. All right, so uh, the the lamp right here I actually have hooked on to uh, auxiliary one or auxiliary three. So let's take a look and see what happens. So so uh, through uh, through Bluetooth through X10, I'm turning this lamp on and off. So, there's a lot more that can be done. Um, uh, for instance, I have this hooked up in the other room, or you know, this can be expanded to many other things. Like, uh, for instance, uh, you know, maybe you didn't want to use X10. Maybe you could uh, put this little module on little plugs on your on your lines, and you just plug into it, and you'd control the power through a relay. Um, Lots to expand here, but this is just to demonstrate what this Bluetooth I.O. bridge can do. Uh, thank you.